It's an ambitious goal, finding a way to remove toxic industrial chemicals known as PFAS from Maine's rivers. The chemicals used to make an array of household and industrial products. They've been linked to serious health problems, including cancer and kidney issues. Yeah, in flushing out those chemicals is the intent behind a multi-million dollar wastewater treatment project being tested right now in Somerset County. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows more about the first of its kind removal system. A system to remove and destroy PFAS chemicals, which take decades to break down in the body and the environment, is being pioneered at the Anson Madison Sanitary District. The facility treats waste from Anson and Madison, one of many plants that discharge treated waste into the Kennebec River, a primary source of drinking water. There are no systems in Maine that have the capacity to remove these dangerous compounds. They wanted to figure out learn more how how can we treat these compounds and prevent them from getting into the state's water bodies. Steve Woodard is the chief innovation officer with Emerging Compounds Treatment Technologies or ACT2. The district is teaming up with the Portland based company and Dirigo Engineering to develop a centralized treatment system to remove PFAS. The project, utilizing millions in state and federal funding, is in its first phase. So far, the removal system is using different ways to draw PFAS out of the wastewater, including adding turbulence and air similar to a blender. They will foam, and you can skim that foam off the top, and you're removing a good chunk of the PFAS. The system also uses ion exchange resins, which are tiny plastic beads that contain special properties that remove the chemicals. Contaminated water flows through vessels filled with millions of the beads and the compounds latch onto them. Since 2018, ECT2's patented resin system at the former Pease Air Force Base in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, has treated tens of millions of gallons of contaminated water. Decades of exercises at the base using firefighting foam tainted drinking water wells and nearby land. The system regenerates a solution that releases the chemicals from the beads, so a million gallons of contaminated wastewater results in only a gallon of waste. Now, another important part of the project is figuring out what technologies will best destroy the chemicals after they're removed from the wastewater and to ensure they're not being sent back to the landfill. But those technologies are still under development. The first of a kind system could ultimately take in leachate from main landfills and septage resulting in PFAS levels below the curtain drinking water standards before being discharged into the Kennebec. This facility was designed for 5 million gallons per day. We're operating at about 10% capacity right now. So we have that additional capacity. We could help other communities. Scaling up the system by next year could cost nearly $60 million. But these partners are committed to seeing the project completed. We'll continue to work towards funding for phases two and phase three. Uh, which will allow us to improve the treatment level, improve the ability to receive and treat more waste, um, and, and to provide a benefit to the whole state of Maine. To address the toll on Maine waterways and public health. In Madison, Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine.